In this tutorial, we will look at how to install and configure the DHCP server role on a server running Windows Server 2012 R2 core. In particular, we will look at installing the DHCP server role, creating an IPv4 scope, setting server options and authorizing the DHCP server in Active Directory. Before we get started, the server should already have a static IP address and all available Windows updates installed. You can, if you wish, install the DHCP server role on a server that already has other roles installed. To get started, log into the server and type start PowerShell in the command prompt window and press enter. If you think that you know the name of the role you want to install, you can type get hyphen windows feature hyphen name and then part of the role name and then asterisk. For example, get windows feature space hyphen name DHC and then star and press enter. This will show us the name of the role we need to install. In this case, the DHCP server role. Now type install Windows feature hyphen name DHCP space hyphen include management tools and then press enter. Next, we need to create a DHCP scope. Type or copy and paste the following command into the PowerShell window. Add hyphen DHCP service v4 scope hyphen computer name hyphen name hyphen start range hyphen end range hyphen subnet mask hyphen lease duration. Change computer name to the name of the server you're working on now. Change name to a name that describes the DHCP scope. Modify the start and end ranges to be appropriate for your network. The lease duration is 8 days by default, change it if required. Press enter when you're happy with your changes. Now let's add the DHCP server options such as DNS servers, default gateway and domain name. Modify computer name to the name of the server you're working on now. Change router, DNS server and domain entries to be appropriate for your network and then press enter. Lastly, we need to authorize the DHCP server in Active Directory to give out IP addresses. Please don't do this on a production network where a properly configured DHCP server is already running. Bad things will happen and you won't be very popular. To authorize a DHCP server in Active Directory, type or copy and paste the following. Add DHCP server in DC, the name of the server and its IP address. And then press enter. Okay, so that's it. We've installed DHCP with the management tools. We've created an IPv4 scope. We've added the server options, and we've also authorized the DHCP server in Active Directory. Thanks for watching, and look out for more coming soon.